Do you want to cultivate emotional strength and resilience in your life? In today's video, we'll be exploring the timeless philosophy of Stoicism and how it can help us cultivate emotional strength in our everyday lives. Lesson 1. Focus on what you pay attention to, not how you feel. Being able to pay attention to what they pay attention to instead of how they feel is the first habit of emotionally powerful people. Emotions are seen as fleeting and constantly evolving in Stoicism. Even if they are significant, feelings are not always the best source of guidance when making decisions. Stoics place a strong emphasis on being aware of the things we can control, such as our beliefs, decisions, and deeds. Assume you're not feeling well. You may feel annoyed, nervous, or even dejected when you wake up. Although they are aware that it's acceptable to feel this way, Emotionally powerful people refuse to allow their emotions rule their entire day. Rather, they return their focus to what matters to them. When faced with tasks, individuals divert their attention from their bad feelings to the duties at hand. Your thoughts are in control, not external circumstances. When you accept this, you'll find strength. This sums up the idea of emotional strength in the best way possible. Concentrate on your thoughts rather than on things that are out of your control, such other people or your initial feelings about them. This practice helps you develop emotional detachment from your emotions. You get better at acknowledging them without let them control how you behave. You eventually have the ability to think clearly and composedly, no matter what life throws at you thanks to this. Relating your attention to what you pay attention to instead of how you feel helps you make more resilient decisions and maintain emotional equilibrium. Habit 2. Practice kindness towards yourself. The second trait of emotionally strong individuals is their capacity for self-compassion in their inner monologue. Being self-compassionate is an essential component of emotional strength, not a sign of weakness. Understanding that we are imperfect because we are human is crucial to stoicism. We will encounter difficulties, experience pain, and make blunders. What counts is how we handle these challenges. What counts is how you respond to whatever happens to you. Those who possess emotional strength are aware that harsh self-criticism exacerbates their emotional state. Rather, they use encouraging, compassionate, and understanding language when speaking to themselves. By reminding themselves that they are doing the best, they can in a challenging circumstance. Individuals engage in self-compassion exercises. Do you treat yourself badly when you fail or have setbacks? Or do you treat yourself with the same compassion you would show a friend? Those with deep emotional bonds choose for the latter. They are aware that punishing themselves for their errors just makes them feel worse emotionally. Through the practice of compassion, they make room for development and progress in their inner conversation. Let's say you have erred in your task. You can say something like, I made a mistake, but I can learn from it and do better next time. As opposed to, I'm so stupid for making that mistake. This small change in wording can have a big effect on how you feel. Rather than giving way to feelings of helplessness or annoyance, you preserve equilibrium and perspective. According to Stoicism, we shouldn't be too hard on ourselves when things don't go according to plan. It takes self-compassion to be emotionally resilient. By practicing self-compassion, you develop the emotional resilience required to meet obstacles head-on without succumbing to them. Habit 3. Make decisions based on your prioritizations, not just emotions. Making judgments based on principles and priorities rather than impulsive feelings is the third characteristic of emotionally powerful individuals. Even though emotions play a significant role in the human experience, they are not always the greatest source of guidance when it comes to making crucial decisions. According to Stoicism, we should act in accordance with our values rather than our ephemeral feelings. People who are emotionally strong are aware that emotions like fear, rage, or melancholy might impair their judgment. Rather of letting these feelings control them, they step back, consider what is important to them, and make choices that are consistent with their beliefs and long-term objectives. Consider the scenario where you had a quarrel with a friend and are feeling enraged. You could feel compelled to say something nasty or break up with the person in the heat of the moment. Those who are emotionally strong, however, fight the impulse to act on their emotions 
and make snap decisions. Rather, they give themselves some space to calm down and reflect on what really matters, which could be the importance of the friendship or the desire for amicable conflict resolution. Emotionally strong individuals make more deliberate decisions that are in line with their core values because they put more emphasis on what matters than how they are feeling. This is not to say that they completely suppress their feelings. Rather, they recognize them, give them some thought, and then make decisions about how to behave based on their guiding ideals. This practice aids in avoiding regrettable decisions made in response to fleeting feelings. Instead of responding to the highs and lows of your emotional states, it inspires you to live a life of integrity and make decisions that are in line with your personal values. Over time, this practice cultivates inner tranquility and emotional resiliency. Habit 4. Establish and adhere to healthful boundaries. The capacity to set and uphold healthy boundaries is the fourth trait of emotionally robust individuals. Setting limits is crucial to stoicism in order to preserve emotional stability and safeguard mental health. People that are emotionally strong know that they need to create boundaries for both themselves and other people in order to have healthy lives. Make friends with folks who will help you grow. The significance of setting boundaries to safeguard your emotional space is reflected in this advice. People with good emotional intelligence understand when to say no and when to save their time and energy. They resist letting the expectations or demands of other people get to them. Imagine yourself with a busy career, familial responsibilities, and personal objectives. If you don't set boundaries, you can end up overcommitting and experiencing emotional exhaustion. People who are emotionally strong set limits on their time and energy. They acknowledge that they are limited in what they can do and put their own health first by turning down requests that conflict with their principles or aspirations. You should set boundaries in your emotional life as well. People who are emotionally strong are aware that they are not need to feel what other people are feeling. They are able to empathize and listen, yet they keep a healthy emotional distance. This keeps individuals emotionally stable and grounded by preventing them from being overtaken by other people's feelings. People that are emotionally strong safeguard their mental health and prevent burnout by setting and adhering to healthy boundaries. They realize that setting limits protects people's emotional equilibrium and well-being rather than pushing them away. This behavior guarantees that they have the emotional fortitude to meet obstacles head-on without losing control and builds resilience. Habit 5. Limit your wants and steer clear of unnecessary desires. The last and fifth trait of emotionally robust individuals is their capacity to exercise contentment and refrain from unwarranted cravings. One of the main lessons of Stoicism is that inner calm and contentment, rather than material things or accomplishments, are the sources of true happiness. People who are emotionally robust are aware that a never-ending want for more causes emotional instability, whether it be in the form of monetary goods, recognition, or approbation. Being wealthy doesn't mean owning a lot of stuff. Rather, it means having few desires. People that are emotionally powerful adhere to this idea. Instead of continuously aiming for more, they concentrate on what they already have. They understand that unwarranted wants can result in emotional weariness, disappointment, and dissatisfaction. It might be challenging to learn contentment in a world where messages pushing us to buy more, achieve more, and be more are all around us. Strong emotional beings, however, buck this strain. They realize that living in accordance with their principles and being grateful for what they currently have are the paths to ultimate fulfillment. Consider the scenario where you're putting in a lot of effort to get promoted at work. While achieving success is vital, emotionally robust people are aware that exterior accomplishments like promotions don't guarantee satisfaction. They put in a lot of effort at work, but they don't let that affect how they feel about themselves emotionally. Doing their best brings them satisfaction instead of the result. Emotionally powerful people liberate themselves from the never-ending cycle of desiring more by refraining from unwarranted cravings. They concentrate on what really counts, finding inner peace, developing oneself, and leading a purposeful life. 
They can remain emotionally stable and grounded no matter what life throws at them because to this habit. While it takes a lifetime to develop emotional strength, you can nurture better resilience, inner calm, and emotional balance by forming the behaviors covered here. According to Stoicism, we have total control over our ideas, deeds, and reactions, even while we cannot control other people or things outside of our control. We are able to face life's obstacles with more clarity and composure when we concentrate on the things we can control and adopt behaviors that strengthen our emotional resilience. While they don't repress their feelings, emotionally powerful individuals also don't allow their feelings to rule them. They set healthy boundaries, talk to themselves gently, make decisions based on their beliefs, pay attention to what they pay attention to, and refrain from unneeded cravings. These stoic behaviors provide ageless guidance for developing emotional fortitude in the turbulent world of today. As you engage in these routines, keep in mind that emotional fortitude does not include perfection or the absence of emotion. It's about developing the strength, grace, and wisdom to face life's obstacles head-on. The tenets of Stoicism can help you develop the mental toughness required to lead a happy and purposeful life.